Hey, this nigga Kevin Gates say he like to watch this bitch pussy and all type shit for you fucker and all this shit. Yeah, right. Then this nigga turn around and say he don't mind if this bitch step out and fuck another nigga and bring the video back. But at least let him watch the nigga fuck her so his dick could get hard and maybe he want to fuck his wife with another nigga. So you, you want your bitch pussy to be clean when you fuck her, but then you will let your bitch go and get her pussy defiled by another nigga and still accept her? Nigga, that's in your Quran, nigga? That ain't in your Quran, my nigga. You one of them niggas that you so smart to you. You too smart for your own good, nigga. You too spiritual, nigga. Nigga, you lukewarm, nigga. The words say, nigga, you either gonna be hot or cold, nigga. If you gonna be all the way with the spiritual shit, nigga, be all the way with the spiritual shit, nigga. When your woman step out with another man, when your wife step out with another man, she is now defiled, nigga. And if you take your wife back after she step out with another man, nigga, you defiled too, nigga. You done defile your holy seed, nigga. Cut that shit out, man. There's niggas out here who really own the spiritual shit. You feel me? Niggas out here really intelligent. A lot of y'all niggas be acting real intelligent and real spiritual. And y'all niggas ain't that and y'all ain't it. Y'all niggas ain't it. Still, still on your journey. We all still on our journey, but niggas, you, you, you gotta keep pushing, nigga. Keep studying, nigga. Contra you contradict yourself too much. The nigga, the nigga sit there and contradict himself too much. But now, Carisha, now I'm, I'm talking about this interview with Kevin Gates and uh, Young Miami. My nigga. One thing them people knew, they was going to get a lot of views off your ass, Gates. Because they knew your ass was going to come on that bitch and, 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 and talk crazy. Now, some of that shit, that shit sound good, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But a real nigga like me gonna peep some of that fuck shit you be saying, you feel me? That shit ain't all good, nigga. Shit ain't right, my nigga. That shit suspect too, nigga. And if we gonna be in your Quran, nigga, be all the way in your Quran, nigga. I'm a Hebrew. So, you know, a lot of us Hebrews, you know, the word tell us, nigga. King Solomon told us, nigga. Be wise in all matters, nigga. So I still study the Quran. I study the Bible, but I don't study all you know, you name it, nigga. So I'm a well traveled man, my nigga. You contradicting yourself too much. And I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it all the way real. It's not that because Carisha says you a sex god. You ain't no sex god, nigga. Nigga, that's a demon, nigga. Yeah, nigga. All that eating a booty and all that shit, nigga. You think nigga just started eating booty? Nigga, that shit started a long time ago. Around the time of Solomon Gomorrah, nigga. Niggas was going up to worship the demon. His name was Balal. Lord, forgive me for saying his name. But, and this, then this entity, that's what, that's what, it was, this entity, they made a, uh, they made a monument of this entity of Bilal, which resembled a butt and a, you know, like a butt crack. And they would go up and they would worship Bilal and they would feed Bilal, they would bring them food. And then they'd tell you each man to go inside Bilal, like literally they would be fucking Bilal in a butt and they would take turns fucking and eating the ass. That's where that shit come from. That's an ancient uh, deity that Kevin Gates dealing with. When you talking about eating the booty, when you talking about worshiping ass, that's an ancient deity by the name of Bilal. Cut that shit out, man. Y'all niggas better wake up. Good morning.